Hey, welcome to the truth. High, high, high five. High five. President's Choice segment tonight, beginning last December, a police in Northampton, Massachusetts, in the center of the state, greeted some students in that town with high fives every Friday. Programs designed to allow kids and cops to become friendly. But as Fox News correspondent Rob Schmidt reports, that program has now been stopped. Even when we try to do a nice high five program, it gets stopped. Why? High Five Fridays at schools in Northampton, Massachusetts, allowed police officers to welcome elementary age kids to school every Friday with high fives. But it only lasted a couple months due to concerns it could intimidate children of color and illegal immigrants. I wouldn't want someone that had historically been so abusive to me slapping anywhere near <laughs> this area. The police department said in a Facebook post, concerns were shared that some kids might respond negatively to a group of uniformed officers at their school. Simply by a man in a uniform <laughs> doing that in a corridor. What's making them so sensitive? People were specifically concerned about kids of color, undocumented children, or any children who may have had negative experiences with the police. Well, what the hell is fueling this negative impression of men in uniforms. Black Americans are 2.5 times as likely as white Americans to be shot and killed by police officers. Unarmed black Americans are five times as likely as unarmed white Americans to be shot and killed by a police officer. Black males between the ages of 15 and 34 are nine times more likely to be killed by police than any other demographic, even though black males in this age range make up just 2% of the US population. So you sort of can't really undo that with that. Can you? You can't sort of go, let's put all that behind us, shall we? Ah! <laughs> no, that was just a slap that time. Respond favorably to the high five. In Northampton, Massachusetts, Rob Schmidt, Fox News. Here now to analyze Fox News anchor Martha McCallum. You see her at 7 p.m. right before the fact. Phil can barely restrain his fury. <laughs> so they want everybody to be comfortable, safe spaces, politically correct, snowflakes. Why don't you toughen up out there in Northampton, all right? If you didn't have the cops, the place would be overrun. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even their attractive resident racist person is slightly offended and laughing nervously. Some of the parents decided, as you heard in Rob's piece, that it might make some of the kids uncomfortable if they're children of color or if they're undocumented. Now, if anybody believes that this was going to lead to hauling one of these children uh, out of Northampton, Massachusetts, I think that's nuts. Nothing absolves hundreds of years of oppression, violence and murder like a friendly old high five. A black person shot and killed by police is more likely to have been unarmed than a white person. Six out of ten black men say they have been treated unfairly by police because of their race. You are more likely to be killed by a policeman than a terrorist. It seems worrying that there are statistics on the ratios of getting shot and killed by a police officer. If my motto was protect and serve and I was always out shooting and killing people you'd think should we either disband this or at least change the motto. I know there are a lot of nuts that live in that area of Massachusetts, but Northampton, I mean, I know the community pretty well. I feel relying on these anecdotal experiences. I'm not, I've been out there, I was there, I walked through it. I was high-fiving away, everyone was fine. We had a lot of fun, high-five, high-five, and then a little snow flag. If you took a plebiscite, which is a yes or no, up and down vote on High Five Friday, 80-20. Yeah, you probably right? would get a 80, lot of yeses. 20. There's so many layers of assumption uh, that the broadcast is built upon. The ass assumption of the natural authority of the police, natural authority of white people. Really, the sort of the unstated driving narrative is that white people must dominate. And like any challenge to that, even if it's sort of like the consideration of it, like really children being intimidated seems to be like the, the behind it. It's like, oh, do you know what? Having cops down the corridor, it's this, like it's intimidating for children whose only previous experience is watching their parents being violently arrested or perhaps murdered or like, you know, even like if it's not personal experience, it's such a powerful cultural imprint that we're sort of all aware of. You know, like that, that, that's something that has to be a consideration and to have this attitude towards it and to sort of to so not nimbly, so boldly guide your viewers to the conclusion that you should be going, oh, well, that's just ridiculous, honey. You can't even high-five a child in the mind. Here's my question. All right. Okay. When did the country allow the crazy people to take over? Well, I think it was during the last election, <laughs> officially, Bill. When did that happen? Do you have a date? 
November 17th, was it? <laughs> because the crazy people are now running this country. You support it. When you can't have police come in and greet the kids with a high five because somebody might be offended somewhere. Yeah. What's next? You can't have the Ku Klux Klan come in, serve up food lovingly on a burning cross. Oh. No name on it. No kid crying. It's not like the cops are grabbing kids. What? Well, they are. <laughs> it's quite, quite a lot of footage. I mean, here's just a brief sequence of cops grabbing kids. The officer pursues from behind, picking up speed before slamming the girl into the concrete wall. Sheen rushes into the cell, kicks the teen, and pushes her against a corner wall. The guard grabs her throat. Two male officers rush in, pin her to the floor. Shouldn't be easy to find that, but it actually is. Uh, All right, the kid can go around the cop. Sir, you need to lay face down on the floor. Put your hands where you can see it, sir. Oh, simply just go around that cop. And we don't even know, it's not even evident that there were specifically parents who were necessarily unhappy no, one. with this. It was like a suggestion that maybe right. somebody one might that be was unhappy. Because just one. Can't we high five that parent in a compliant happiness? But they don't have anyone who stands up and says, Look, parent, no, you're being they're... crazy. Why don't you just stand up and say, look, parent, you're crazy. You're crazy for thinking that a man in the uniform who's more likely to kill your child than a terrorist shouldn't be high-fiving your child. Why don't we have terrorists high-fiving children? It's crazy. This North Hampton, guys. Massachusetts, everybody. So there you go. There's some true news. There's nothing that Fox won't be glib and casually damning about even if it has centuries and oppression of oppression and violence holding it up subscribe here <laughs>